Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have another blast in the past for you guys. This is where I go through my whole entire collection and I bring out some of the past loves so I can bring them back into use and back into my rotation. Um, you know, it's always about the what's new, what's new releasing, new palette, new this, new that. And it's just so overwhelming and it gets really, really expensive. So this is my way to show everything I have in my collection love and save a dollar. <laughs> Let's be honest. Um, so before we get started, if you guys are not subscribed, please go ahead and hit that button down below. I normally post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, and I'll have those linked down below for you as well. So in today's video, I have brought out the Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette. Um, I actually have, think I've only used this like twice, but I do remember enjoying it. And I have to say, I really, like this look that I created with this palette. So um, that's very exciting. I'm also bringing out an old Smashbox palette as well. So if you guys wanna see how I created this look with these palettes, then just keep watching. All right, so I figure I've done enough voiceovers, so I'm going to actually talk through this one. Um, so we're gonna start off, and this has become my go-to eye primer, like, Ever. So this is the Sigma um, eyeshadow base primer. <sighs> You've seen this in a couple videos of mine. I normally use the Urban Decay primer potion, but this just covers up my discoloration so good. take my Sigma E40 and I think hmm I'm not really sure if I want to go here or here I think I'm gonna take this shade right here which is juicy and we're going to put that above the crease I know I want to use this shade right here so I think if I go in with this one it's gonna to be too similar so I'm gonna go in with devilish which is this shade right here and I'm going to put that in the crease as well um, and I'm just gonna take my Sigma E25 <laughs> first shade juicy and kind of soften that up a little bit oh these shades are so pretty all right so next I'm gonna go in with the shade young love which is this one right here and I'm gonna put that all over my lid the devilish shade so I do want to put something in the middle of my eye I was thinking 
one of these two, either the lighter like peach shade or this shade right here. Um, I don't know if that peachy shade is gonna show up. I'm just gonna go on with this shade right here, turn on. We're just gonna put this right in the center. Bang bang. Going in with this in the middle of the lid. Going back in with a little bit of young love. take the shade privacy and I'm actually going to use this for a liner okay so now that I have that completed I'm going to jump off camera do my brows and my foundation <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna put on eyelashes this time I think I'm just gonna do mascara anyways I'll be right back so we're gonna start on our lower lash line. I'm gonna go back in with the shade Juicy and start working that on the bottom. take this privacy shade right here and put that on the lower lash line as well. Sometimes I don't know why I insist on trying this. I <laughs> got my lower water line, but you know, I like it. Um, but I'm using the Milani Stay Put Waterproof Eyeliner, and this is in the shade 04 Fixed Plum, and I'm going to put this on my lower waterline. <laughs> For mascara, I'm going to take the Too Faced Better Than Sex. blush and highlight I'm going to bring it back old school for me this is my first like blush palette so this is from a Smashbox this was one of their Christmas palettes I believe two years ago um, it's the LA lights palette contour blush and highlight this thing is so beautiful it's so beautiful um, the colors in here perform extremely well I would have been disappointed if I missed out on this, and I almost did, but um, I finally found one. And the packaging on this is so heavy, and I feel like I could definitely travel with this, and my blushes and highlights will be protected. So, um, let's see, for blush, since we got like a pinky berry look coming going on, so I think I'm gonna go in with Rich Berry, which is this shade right here. Oh, it 
that's such a beautiful blush. Okay, and I'm also gonna use this palette for highlight, and I'm gonna go in with Highlight Berry, which is the shade right here. Um, now, I just received this, and I think an Ipsy bag, and it's supposed to be like a, a blender brush, but I really didn't like the way that it performed as a blender, so I'm gonna use it as a highlight brush. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this gold shade then because that didn't really do much. I mean, it's tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Awesome. Now for lips, I think I kind of want to go with something shimmery. And I know I just got this, and this is my Blast from the Past Wednesday, but I really, really want to use it. And hey, there's no rolls, right? So um, in my Beautylish unboxing, I got a whole pack of the Jouer, um, like little metallic lip toppers. And I really just want to use one. So um, this is in the shade Stardust. It smells, oh my amazing oh my gosh oh that's so pretty let's see if what happens if I go over with the darker one in the shade sugar plum All right, guys. Oh, I really, really like how this turned out. It's so pretty. Oh, yes. So if you guys did like this video as well, please give me a big old thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Bye.